A month later, I'm riding my bike to Cross Creek, and I get a cell phone message from Brian Baker. Yeah. And I've known Brian since maybe 88, 87. We do not talk on the phone. Like, we'd bump into each other on the road somewhere. And he called me and said, hey, um, I'm flying to Europe. I'm at a layover. Could you call me? I need to talk to you about something. I'm like, this is weird. Then I go on Twitter, and Jay Bentley is now following me. And I'm like, oh, shit. that's fucking weird. You know, I knew Jay from, like, going to art parties or something. Yeah. So I finally get in touch with, and I said to, to Hillary, I was like, this is just weird. Something is afoot. So I finally, Brian calls me back maybe the next day or something. He said, look, here's the deal. Um, Hudson's out. We're doing a festival uh, in Belgium this weekend. Can you learn, you know, 50 minutes worth of songs in 10 days and do festivals? And I was like, sure, okay. I had no idea what I was getting into. And I don't, th I mean, by this time, I didn't even have like iTunes or anything. Yeah. I drove, I rode my bike to like a Barnes and Noble to go buy CDs. This is 2012. Yeah. This is crazy. 2013, 2013. Yeah. And I cobbled together a few CDs. And I think then I went to a, a, a used record store and bought some more. So I had, I had enough CDs that I could like learn the 15 songs or something that I had to, to learn. And um, then I did one run through with Brooks and Jay. That was it. And then fucking showed up in Tucson or somewhere or Vegas to do a show. No way. Yeah, it was totally bizarre. And and I looked down at the set list halfway through the set and the song No Direction was on there. And I was like, Jay, I don't know that song. He said, you don't remember it? I said, no, I never heard it. And he's like, oh, okay. And so they took they crossed that one off. No way. Yeah, that was, that was, <laughs> it was fucking terrifying. Man. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs>